sends the beautiful machines I've had the privilege of flying. Uh, and he is uh, with us now. Pilot's name is Philip Parsons. Hello to you, Mr. Parsons. Thanks for joining us on the program this morning. Um, what, what could have been done more to try to protect uh, your job and the many tens of thousands of other pilots who've lost their jobs? Our job in particular was uh, a case of mismanagement by the government. Um, and we had told them that years ago. But in general, the, the, the sort of aviation industry has been decimated by COVID, um, as, you, as you guys are well aware. I mean, the aviation, the half the world's airline, uh, airliners are on the ground. Um, so there's not much more. I think going forward, uh, possibly vaccine passports, uh, a combination of vaccine passports and pre-departure uh, testing um, could replace quarantine. That, that would change, would increase uh, the demand, increase travelling, and then in turn increase uh, pilots' jobs. I, I mean, I keep trying to get into South Africa. It's on the red list uh, as far as the UK is concerned at the moment. So uh, there's no chance of that happening, certainly this side of Christmas. Do you think that foreign governments understand the impact that the uh, travel bans have had on your industry? I don't think they, they have. I don't think they do, Kate. They, they, um, they, they, there doesn't seem to be a combined kind of uh, uh, strategy. They seem to just go ahead and shoot from the hip and then the airlines have to play catch up. You know, the airlines strategize uh, new routes, more frequency. Then the governments seem to just uh, change, change tack, and and the airlines have to to then catch up. So it's, it's I think, a, 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 a more coordination between the governments and the airlines would certainly help the situation. Uh, will he be able to return to flying, or is that you done now? No, I, th I think I will. Uh, last night I was on a Zoom call to a company in America that facilitates American licenses, and there were 35 of us from South African Airways. And uh, it's, it, it really is, it depends on ultimately vaccines and where, uh, when the industry returns to pre-COVID levels and where we're allowed to work. Uh, with an American license, we can work in far more countries. Uh, there, there are opportunities and very many South African Airways pilots are doing their European and British licenses. And um, that will open up doors uh, because there's certainly going to be a dramatic shortage of pilots when they return. Because uh, in the lead up to COVID, many pilots above 50 took pension and uh, they, 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 they aren't going to return to flying. So, when it turns, it's going to turn dramatically and there'll be a huge shortage, is my belief. Possibly two years. Uh, but Captain, it's, it's expensive, isn't it, to retrain with, you know, whether if you go to the US to retrain or if you come to the UK to retrain. And you've already spent a fortune on learning to be a pilot in the first place. Yeah, it, it is an expensive game. And sadly, uh, in retrenchment, we have to then fund to get ourselves back up to the currency and the, uh, to have the licenses to go and... Uh, work overseas, it's part of the game, sadly. What did you fly? Uh, Airbus A340s on the international route, so London was one of our destinations, one of our favourite destinations. And what's your favourite aircraft? Uh, I think a Jumbo 747 of 400. Of course, of course, Queen of the Skies. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a beautiful plane. Now, Absolutely. apparently, um, I'm, I'm, British Airways and a lot of other airlines have actually scrapped their 7-4s now because they're just they're just gas guzzlers, poor engines, no use to them um, anymore. Do you think, can you envisage an opportunity where they might come back or if we say goodbye to them? Not at all. I tell you where there's a massive opportunities in the cargo sector um, because they convert them, uh, they cut a hole in them for the door, convert them into freight, put a floor in, convert them into freighters and, and with the freight industries going crazy, so there's certainly an opportunity. Uh, actually, we were told about that last night. A company in, in America is looking for a 747 400 pounds. So there will be opportunities for old South African Airways and British Airways pilots to go and fly these machines around the world, okay. I think. Well, I sincerely hope that you manage uh, to either come to the UK or go to the US and get those licenses that you need, Captain. Thank you for taking the time to join us. Thanks so much, Kay. Thanks sector that's been absolutely decimated as you can imagine as a result 
of the pandemic, nobody has been flying. We've tried to brighten ourselves up in the UK, haven't we? Because we've not been able to travel. So we've had a lot of fantastic weather over the last few days, but I know I keep banging on about it. I'll say it again. You need to be careful with open water. Uh, nine people have now died in less than a week while either visiting the beach